breaking news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. WH press secretary shows up to help in Texas with huge message on her hat that pissed off Trump haters. No matter what President Trump does, the left is always ready to attack him. Even in the wake of catastrophic Hurricane Harvey, the liberal media has been critiquing President Trump and Melania's every move. Trump has been doing everything in his power to help the flood victims, but that hardly seems to matter to the hateful lefties. However, if they were upset before they surely are going to pop a blood vessel after they see what White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was just spotted wearing. It has become incredibly clear that no matter what Trump does the left will find a way to oppose him. Seriously, the man could part the floodwaters and they would complain that he used the wrong word to command it. Which was made perfectly clear when Trump and Melania visited the storm-ravaged area yesterday. At first, the left nearly went nuclear when cameras caught Melania Trump wearing heels boarding the flight to Houston. These vitriolic attacks were, of course, unneeded considering that Melania changed her footwear to something much more comfortable before landing. However, that is the sort of lunacy the left is constantly displaying to the public on a regular basis. Which is why what Sarah Sanders wore on her head should pretty much push these drama queens over the edge. Here is more from Washington Examiner. President Trump and his wife, Melania, weren't the only denizens of the White House to sport hats during a visit to hurricane-stricken Texas on Tuesday. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders also was spotted wearing a hat. Hers was red with the words Make America Texas emblazoned over an outline of Texas, as shown in a photo shared by Politico's Josh Dossie. Trump wore one of his signature USA hats in white and the First Lady wore a baseball hat that said float it as they exited Air Force One upon landing in Corpus Christi, Texas, earlier Tuesday. And, you know that had to piss these angry liberals off, right? The Trump team has been doing all that they can do help the people of Texas no matter what the leftist media tries to tell everyone. In fact, Governor Greg Abbott even gave President Trump a fantastic review of his response to the devastating storm. Free Beacon reported. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, R, gave President Donald Trump's administration an a on its response to Hurricane Harvey during a press briefing Monday. At the briefing, a reporter asked Abbott how he would grade the federal government's response to the hurricane so far. The state of Texas has been dealing with the federal government for about 7 to 10 days, at least, before the hurricane hit, Abbott said. I've spoken with the president on multiple occasions, with his cabinet members, and I would have to grade the federal government's response as an A+. Abbott said that in addition to the president, he has spoken with multiple cabinet members including Secretary of Health and Human Services Tom Price. Acting Secretary of Homeland Security Elaine Duke, and FEMA Administrator Brock Long. This is, if not the largest, it has to be categorized as one of the largest disasters America has ever faced, Abbott said. And to see the swift response from the federal government is pretty much unparalleled. Oh, but that is not all folks. The liberal media is ready to sweep under the rug the huge number of people that came out to see President Trump yesterday during his visit. Of course, this was downplayed in the liberal media since it goes against their narrative that Trump's approval ratings are in the tank, but, this image surely does tell a different story. After Trump arrived he gave a small speech to the crowds of people that urged for unity and togetherness during these troubling times. We won't say congratulations, he spoke to the crowd. We don't want to do that, we don't want to congratulate. We'll congratulate each other when it's all finished. We love you. You are special. We are here to take care of you, the president said. It happened in Texas, and Texas can handle anything, Trump said. And, this is what America is all about. This is what Trump means when he says let's make America great again folks. It means coming together as Americans and not base everything on our sexuality, race, gender, or political affiliation. Our country was founded on the principles of freedom and that everyone is created equal. That when it gets tough out there we band together to help our neighbor not tear them down. After eight years, 
of having Barack Obama focus on identity politics the country has lost its way, but with Trump in leadership, we certainly can get back on track, on track.